Hello everyone. Today we are going to go through number line jumps, which is a problem on the implementation section of algorithm on Akarin. So without wasting time, let us have a look on the problem statement. So in this problem statement, we have two animals and to be more specific, we have two kangaroos. We have uh, the first one at the position x1 and the second one at the position x2. And they are both moving at a speed respectively v1 and v2. And we are supposed to find out if they are going to meet one day or not. So let us have some example. We have the first one at the position 2, where, which is moving with a speed of 1. And we have the second one at the position 1, which is moving with a speed of 2. So after the first jump, the first um, the, the the element one, the first kangaroo will be at the position three because he was at the position two and he moved one step forward, that is three. And the second one was at position one and he moved two steps forward, that is also three. So in the answer is yes, they can meet. So in this problem, we are just supposed to find out if they can meet or not. No matter how long it will take them to meet, we don't care about that. It's just, are they able to meet at the second point? If yes, we return yes, otherwise we return no. So what will be our, our approach of solving this? So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to take in consideration the, the starting point. Because we know that in the constraint that the first kangaroo will always, will always be at a position lower than the second one. So you do agree with me that if, if a kangaroo is at the position one and um, the other one is in front of him and that the one in front of him is moving faster than him, they will never meet, right? So the first condition that needs to be respected in order for them to meet is that the kangaroo at the position one is moving faster than the one at the position two. That's the first thing. Let me just write it. So I will just make it here if V1 is actually greater than V2. That is the first condition, like we saw. Now, what is the second condition in order for them to meet? So um, we can see that the first one is that we can see that V2, like the, the speed of the, the, sec, the, first element, the first one minus the, the speed of the second one represent the distance that would decrease in between them after each step because we know that the first one is going faster than the second one the the speed of the first one minus the speed of the second one will then give you the distance that is decreasing after each step and uh, for them to make the distance that is decreasing after each step should be actually be a divisor of the distance that exists in between them. That means the distance that exists in between them is actually um, x2 minus x1. That is the distance in between them. So in the module operator of that distance and v2 minus no, v1 minus v2 should be actually equal to zero. So if those two conditions are okay, that means the first one is actually moving faster than the second one and the distance in between them is actually a multiple of the distance that is decreasing at each step so they will eventually meet at a certain point so if those two conditions are okay we just return we just return yes otherwise we return no let us run and see what it gives I have a congratulation and let us submit. We have a congratulation, everything is green. So this was my approach of solving this. If there's anything unclear about what I just said here, because I know it was a bit of logic, more than what we used to do here, more than just if and for condition. So if you have any question related to the logic I used to implement the solution, feel free to reach me in the comment section and I will be happy to give you my feedback. See you in the next video. Ciao.